Jeff Miller here again with Trax Tech just going over. We're touching base on a couple more things on the on our T-bolt mounting bracket system. So here we are on this 20-foot Lund um, fiberglass boat that has their sport track system built onto it. Uh, one of our other videos, we just talked about mounting the tracks on the gunnel walls of the side of the boat and how all of our, our, our 45 degree T-bolts end up working on this particular boat. Lund is one of my manufacturers that uses 45s, 50s, and a 90 degree. So on the side of their gunnel walls, they're using our 45 degree T-bolt bracket that sits at an angle. So our bracket is machined to take up the angle and allow the track to sit flat going down the top of the gunnel wall so you can have your vertical trees, your rod holders, all your accessories and equipment in there sitting nice and flat and parallel out the side when we're fishing. And up on the front side of their boat and on some of their crossovers, I um, think their Pro Vs, uh, they use the 90 degree angle. So this uh, sport track is mounted on the inside of the gunnel. So we do make uh, all, there's like five different angles in the entire country that we make different brackets for for different boat manufacturers. And the 90 degree bracket works the same way our stainless steel t-nuts on there and then they rotate up when it hits our nylock nut on here locks into place sitting at an angle so we're getting maximum strength out of the aluminum channel that's on, on your boat and this particular one is a two inch wide version and it's made for mounting single rod holders too or in this configuration uh, we actually made a, a adjustable handliner bracket set up on here that we offer for this guy's setup for fishing the river and he's using a handliner reel on here we also use this mount for barbecue grills, some graphs, electronics, some of the different things that are out there. Uh, let your mind run with its imagination on what could be used on your boat that might be efficient and help you out on your setup. But in this 90 degree setup, these 90, these T-nuts line up perfectly straight with our, our little groove that we machine in there. These things slide right inside that Lund Sport Track in there. They, you can feel it when you rotate it around with your fingers, they rotate right inside that track and we're able to set those in, take our, our wrench that has a gear set up inside. I love using this one because it's quick and easy and we get them snugged up and we just get them snug and that's all they need. Get them snugged up and just a little bit of tension on there once it's tight. Give it an extra eighth of a turn and that thing's rock solid. So kind of what's unique about this little mount is this allows one mount. We have no pivot points because we use the two stainless steel T-nuts inside here. And now this mount for this handliner bracket allows us to hang over the side of the boat. And with our lift and turn pivot features that we're very popular with on a lot of our rod holders and our electronics mounts, we have this on the handliner bracket that we can put this on here. This guy can pivot this around. He can turn it up inside of his boat. The coolest thing on this setup is he can uh, fish it over the side. And when he's done, we can lift this up, rotate this whole thing inside the boat, pull the pin, and he can tuck it right down inside the gunnel wall of his boat. He's clean and neat out of the way. He can put his cover on and everything. He can run across the lake. None of his gear is hanging over the side of the boat. He didn't have to use any tools or anything to make this thing work nice and simple and efficient for him. So just a real quick, easy way that we're helping the river guys be able to use handliner brackets, barbecue grills, any uh, fish cutting stations on here, anything else that we can think of that might work really well. And we're just showing this is available to go into our track also, but we're just showing how we mounted it up here on a sport track system for on this Lund boat today. So hope the tip helped you out. Thank you very much. Go to TraxTech.com if you need some help or give us a call and we'll be happy to help you out.